The Red Light District in Amsterdam is at the same time the place of all fantasies, of all excesses and the oldest part of the city. Which means that next to the many sex shops, next to the sports bars, the loudy coffee shops and the slightly seedy windows, which we can't film by respect to the prostitutes, you can find some stunning monuments on very beautiful canals. A bit of a big gap that the local council is trying to reduce by changing the red light district into a more Polish district. Vanupier is taking you on a stroll in the city red light district. The starting point is the central station, a massive brick building located on the river mouth of the old port of Amsterdam. It was at this exact place that the city opened itself to the seas and distant continents. The train station has been cutting this link to the port for more than a hundred years. At first squatters and artists occupied empty buildings and warehouses. Then real estate developers came and restored the old port wasteland. Behind the train station, free ferries will take you to discover the industrial past in the north of Amsterdam. It is one of the many aspects of the city that must be discovered. In front of the train station, you will find Damrak, the avenue that will take you to Dam Square, the city center of Amsterdam. Beautiful building, a lot of people, and some poor quality shops which spoil the fun a bit. Souvenir shops, casinos, currency exchanges, fast food shops, anything that the city would like to see disappear anywhere else. Dam Square may not be very charming, but it is historically of prime importance. It is there that the dam on the Amstel River gave birth to Amsterdam in 1275. From there, a port, war houses, a market, a public scale, pubs, churches, brothels, the birth of a city. The massive gloomy building is the Royal Palace, built in 1665. It was then the most modern building of the area. It stands on 13,659 wooden piles. All the kids in the Netherlands learned that fact by heart. The 17th century is the Dutch Golden Age, and the whole world advised the Netherlands Amsterdam. Dam Square is home to street artists, various relies, hot dog sellers, pigeons tired from flying, and tourists looking for the red light district. Off we go. In the 60s, 70s and 80s, the middle classes leave the rundown old town. Rats, dirty canals, criminality, heroin rocks havoc. On every bridge, there is a dealer waiting to sell drugs. The historic heart of Amsterdam is the worst place to go for a family holiday. It is also there that the resistance gets organized to avoid the destruction of the city center wanted by the council. There that the anarchists fight so the cars don't replace bikes. There that squats see emerge the ideas of pooling, mutual assistance and sharing that still make the spirit of Amsterdam today. The red light district of today is a bit like the child of the Amsterdam of yesterday, less trashy and less militant. What is left is the coffee shops, many of them, and some of the less interesting in Amsterdam. Pubs, where the English go to get drunk, made in China souvenir shop, and also many dildos in the window shops here and there. Thankfully, there are other things to visit. Oudekerk is the most surprising church in the city. An whole church with strange proverbs engraved in the wooden mercy seats. It is possible to get to the top of the bell tower for a panoramic view of the district. Keep on walking until you get to the most central microbrewery in Amsterdam, the Prel. Good beers and a social reintegration company. How to mix businesses with pleasure, basically. The Red Lake District also has at least two religious buildings full of surprises. First of all, there is Amstelkring, a Catholic church in hiding when the Protestants banned the public worship of the Roman cult. There is also a big Buddhist temple in the Chinatown part of the red light district. It is also here that you will find many cheap and delicious Chinese and Asian restaurants. Neumarkt is one of the most beautiful square in Amsterdam and is located at the limit of the red light district. Ideal to sit outside and make the most of some open space, which is rather rare in the old town. The Vague, where you can see a bit of the old fortification, it is also no in particular order. The guild's headquarters, a public scale, a furniture store, a fire station and a prison, and now a posh restaurant. You can find on the square the pleasant coffee shop Jolly Joker and the former tram stop that became the brown cafe Local Cluge. There is also a market here every Saturday morning, the opportunity to sample some Dutch herring. You can find more info on vanupier.com. Be curious and enjoy your trip.